What up, everybody? This is your boy Theo Pence here. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss any Run Your Race content. How does your kids help you get through that time? Because I know that's a rough time right what, there. What, through Houston? Yeah. Or just all that or in general? Or just all that in general. Oh, that saved my life. Yeah. If it weren't for my kids, I wouldn't be here. Not to fact. be honest, you know what I mean? Like like I said before, you're in a dark place. Like People don't know I had tore my Achilles, had four infections. I always had to cut my foot off. Mm -hmm. So my career is about to be over. My mom diagnosed with breast cancer, and then she passed. Mm -hmm. Then I get traded from D.C. to Houston. I mean, where I've been for 10 years. Then my grandma died a year later. Mm -hmm. Then I'm not playing basketball, you know what I mean? I'm in a bad spot. And I'm like, like what the fuck is going on? Like, yeah. why all this got to happen to me? Right. Yeah, back to back. Like, I go from the second best player in the East, top 10, top 15 player in the league, to then everything's gone, you know what I mean? To like yep. basically rock bottom. Like, to I mean, have it all. And not by choice, though. It just shit that happened. Like, yeah. I can't control having bone spurs and shit. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, I can get through this. Like, I mean, that's when I asked for help. I went and got a therapist, and I'm like, yo, I need help. Yeah. And I said, like, that's the problem with us as African American men is like we grow up with really no father figure a lot of times, and we feel like we don't need help. We the man in the house like we can figure shit out on our own. Yeah. Until I realized like you was not about to be here no more. Like you do need help. Not yeah. Facts. And that's why I don't mind speaking out and helping other people out. The uh, a lot of people write me all the time like yo, you be saving a lot of people's lives. I'm like I'm just being myself, just being genuine and being real. Not mm -hmm. facts. And I don't do it like I said. I ain't need it for the clout. I'm just telling you my story because I never even thought about writing a story. I was in my backpack giveaway, and a guy, the Salvation Army, where my mom used to always make sure we helped out. Mm -hmm. and we made it to the league. He was asking me an interview, and he asked me, like, what I was going through, and I brought it up. And just speaking, conversation, and that shit hit the internet, and everybody started talking about it. And that's when the Player Tribune called me. It was like, would you mind writing a piece? And I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to tell you myself. Don't be authentic about it. Not facts. And that, that's why I say my kids got me through all that. Nah, that's what's up. So, definitely having my close, like, my fuck mother. That f me. Like, mm -hmm. I lost a lot of family members, lost a lot of close friends when my mom passed, all that. Cause my wasn't around when you needed him to be. Mm -hmm. And then when I was hurt, like my phone won't ring in the same. Mm -hmm. Cause I ain't playing. Mm -hmm. I ain't going out and shit ain't ringing. Yep. Mm -hmm. I ain't on PJs, it ain't ringing. Mm -hmm. I ain't on vacation, it ain't ringing. So you find out who really there for you. That's yeah. why I say loyalty is love. Don't tell me you love me, show me your loyalty. Nah, yep. facts. I like that. Yeah, That's yeah. tough. We talk about like mental health a lot on this cause it's crazy. Like we were just saying that. Um, a lot of black men don't, like you just said, don't go. And it's more so like, like we we scared. You know what I mean? Sometimes like I feel like we scared to like- yeah, It's our pride, man. We scared because we got to think, excuse me, we don't see nothing but failure our whole life anyway growing up, for yeah. real. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I mean? And then we see like our parents, you like they sacrificing so much, but we really ain't got shit. Yeah. yeah. We just got enough to like put a food on our table and somewhere to lay our head, but that really ain't that shit. Ain't you know what I mean? But that's enough. all you got, that's all you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. we you like, man, I, and then you like, I can't let another man tell me what the f I got going on. That part, yeah. that part, that part. But in the day is, we don't realize it's a lot of shit that we want to say, but we just don't know how to say it or get it out. I don't know how, but that's they especially. You just start talking about one thing, and then therapists get your ass to bring out something you never thought you would tell nobody. Nah, Where, bro? You know what we, I mean? And we even we've even had that on here. For real? Like we just talk about because. Do we come over here planned all the damn time? No. <laughs> like, we just literally just have authentic conversations. Yeah, just being realistic. We yeah, just yeah. being realistic. And as we go, like, we had an uh, interview with Mikael Bridges. He's like, damn, I ain't really thought about it like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because we don't just go out our way and just talk talk like this mm -hmm. unless we with our boys randomly and some yeah, shit yeah. like that. So well, I said, if you get it, like, if you got people that just be they selves, be genuine, be down to earth, you're just going to have real conversation and make yeah. the interviews go so... Like when shit be so scripted and people want you to say they say that, for sure. that makes the interview so hard. You're like, man, f I yeah. feel like nah, I'm doing crazy. a meeting. Mm -hmm. I went to the, um, the national football game, it was that on Monday, and um, was talking to one of my homegirls that worked for SoFi. And she was like, y'all should get uh, somebody for the Rams or something like that. I was like, nah, we only get people we got a relationship with. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it don't make sense. If I don't know that person, like, I hit Reggie. I was like, yo, I got to get Big Bro in here. Yeah. You yeah. got a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're all from North Carolina. Yeah, because it's hard. Because if you get somebody like that, they be like, what is your What is your angle? Exactly. Like, what you searching for? Like you exactly. know what I mean? Like I'm like whatever I'm telling y'all, I, I trust it. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, some motherfuckers like man, I can't trust that motherfucker. No, because you don't want to open up. So I'm like, I ain't about to talk to you. Exactly. I ain't yeah. telling you y'all everything. 